Most of us boaters have some protection on our boat in the form of fenders, but did you also know you can protect your dock? Well, Dock Hedge has the largest assortment of dock protection from any company in the world. From spot protection that's either foam filled or for the vertical posts on your dock, or to long 16 foot extruded pieces that can be literally wrapped all around your dock, whether it's horizontally or vertically. And today, we're gonna take a look in detail at some of those pieces and show you what might be the best option for your dock. When it comes to spot protection, Dock Edge really does have you covered with dozens of different options. One of the most popular are these Ultra Guards, and they come in a couple of different colors, black and white. In fact, you can get them in up to four different colors to suit your dock. What I like about these is you can position them really anywhere you want. They're flexible, and they have a lot of cushioning built in to absorb any shock. One really handy spot for these is at the bow, because you really can't put a fender at the bow of your boat. Another option you might want to look at that has even more shock absorbing capability is called the dock cushion. And here we have one cut open so you can see just how much cushion and impact absorption there really is. Plus you can also see the marine plywood hardwood backing that allows you to safely secure this to your dock and it won't come off or come loose. And if that isn't enough, they have an HD version which is even thicker and provides even more impact resistance and cushioning. And if you notice on the end, there's a little kind of ball and socket. And this allows you to match an end cap perfectly to avoid any ugly seams or an outside corner piece. And they even have inside corner pieces as well in case you want to wrap your dock or your sea dew slip all the way around. And spot protection doesn't stop there, of course. There are all kinds of bumpers that can be attached vertically to a post, horizontally to a post. And there are even smaller pieces that just screw on with three for little spots where you don't want to rub sideways or where you might not have a fender easily located on a boat. But spot protection doesn't just end with straight pieces, no, because when you're coming into the dock, one of the most fearful spots is that sharp edged corner, especially in a crosswind. Well, Dock Edge has a number of corner bumpers as well. This would be one of the most popular air filled ones, providing some cushion for you if you kind of get a little bit cockeyed coming into the dock. And of course, the ultimate in corner protection would be a fixed inflatable wheel. Now, if you want to go beyond just spot protection, if you want to wrap your entire dock, well, Dock Edge also has a number of profile dock protection bumpers. Some of them are in 16 foot rolls and others are in sections just under eight feet in length. And there are numerous different versions. In fact, we've got a couple of them here right now. For example, this is standard D, which does come in 16 foot lengths. And you can see by its profile, that you can mount this on the side of the dock or on the top of the dock. Now this is heavy slant P. And you can see by the profile here, not only is it really heavy duty, commercial application maybe, but it also has an angle on the bottom. And one of the advantages of this piece is, if you've got fenders and they're fairly low in the water or the dock's fairly high, this will allow a fender to slide up and down more than a more 90 degree type of style protection. And then this is the standard P air cushion protection. And again, it comes in length just under eight feet. And if you wanna know why they're just under eight feet, well, it has to do with courier and shipping regulations. You can see by the profile of this one that it mounts to the side of the dock, but it also overlaps the top of the dock. So you can secure this on the top and on the side. And something really interesting about dock edge protection is you will find a line that's actually molded in to all of this material and that is to line up the screws. Because while you might not see the screws on the side of the dock, you'll definitely see the screws along the top and you want them all to be very straight. Now, if you're wondering if there's any corner protection available for these extruded pieces, there absolutely is for most of them. And this is one here, and this is another one here. So we have different levels of protection for different types of corner moldings. And as you can see, this particular P-shaped molding comes in a nice navy blue. So there are even a few different colors if you want to start matching to a colorful new dock. Now, if you're wondering if the blue is safe to use, will it leave any residue on your dock or will it fade? You should know that Dock Edge uses virgin materials with no fillers. And that just means that there's a UV inhibitor built into them so they won't fade. There's a fungicide built in them so they won't grow mold on them. And because it's virgin material with no fillers, none of this blue can rub off or scuff on the side of your boat. So you can be confident in using a cool color without having any deficits whatsoever over the color white. Now something interesting about some of these extruded pieces like this single pea is they actually act as an air cushion. Now you wonder, how is that gonna happen if it's hollow? Well, you can see with the foam stilled stuff, we can definitely see the cushion in action. 
But with the air-filled items, when you're gonna connect more than one together, you've gotta seal them up. So they provide little inserts that go in and allow you to put two pieces together, but you've gotta use a little bit of the PVC cement to seal them together. And the same goes with the corners. Each corner is designed specifically for a certain extrusion. So it's really important to add a corner because then you can make a proper seal and maintain that air pressure inside that cushion because that provides you most of your shock absorption, at least on the profile type extrusions. If you're gonna install these bumpers on a wooden dock, Dock Edge has made it really easy because they sell a kit of 100 stainless steel screws with extra large heads. Now the large head's important because now you don't need to use a washer. And this will give enough security to make sure this extruded bumper doesn't come off your dock. And if you wonder how many you should use, well, you should use one every six to eight inches. And the profile pieces are a little bit more difficult to install than some of the spot pieces because they're long, but we do have a couple of tips and tricks for you. And the first thing you want to do really, besides put something down to keep your screws from going to the lake, is you want to lay this profile out, especially if it's sunny. Lay it out in the sun for a couple of hours, comes in a roll, but it likes to stay rolled up, especially if it's cold. Here you can see we've laid this full face piece out for a couple of hours and it's now laying flat where our little single D here doesn't really wanna, don't wanna lay down yet, but give it a couple hours and it will lay down flat. And this makes it much easier to install. If you have a pipe dock, it can be a little bit tricky to get fenders that actually protect your boat. In fact, most people simply tie a loose little boat fender to the end of the pipe, but that's not going to do much when the boat knocks out of the way. This, uh, this pipe's going to damage the boat. But not to worry, because Dock Hedge has a couple of very cool torpedo bumpers. This is the 18-inch version, and there's a 21-inch version for larger pipes. They separate at the bottom, allowing for very easy insulation on pipes up to 2 inches in diameter. For more information, go to dockedge.com for pricing and details.